I read an article the other day and it said that the NFL commissioners are trying to make it a penalty for using the word nigga on the football field. And, uh, you know, when I read it, I had a couple discrepancies about it because it was just, it was some things about it that didn't connect with me well. And, um, first of all, when I, when I read the article, I'll question myself, why are they singling out this one word nigga? Now, there's a lot of things that go on in the football for that's came out in the past couple of months. You had Richie Incarnito bullying people and insulting people and throwing around the word nigga. We've had people uh, call another player a motherfucker or a bitch or asshole or uh, insult his sexuality and so on and so on. But with this word nigga, they took this word and said, okay, well, this is the word that we're going to penalize players for. This is the word that, that, that we're going to say, no, this is a no-no. We're going to penalize you. You're going to be suspended, etc., etc. And you have to question yourself, you know, why did they take this particular word and say, this is the one that we're going to penalize players for? And I, I think what it boils down to is that, it's not the fact that the NFL commissioners care about the respect of black people um, or they're concerned about black people's feelings because, to be honest with you, nobody here in America <laughs> gives a damn about black people's feelings. But I think it, it goes back to this generation wanting to be able to do and say everything, whether you black, white, Hispanic or so on and so on and we live in a generation where there's people of other ethnicities meaning not black that want to say the word nigga and they have this mindset like okay well if I can't say the word then you're not going to say it and we've had all kind of you know suggestive themes that have come out you know uh, you know players making symbols like you know suck my dick and all kind of shit but nothing happened you know, Richie and Carney insulted people, threw around the word nigga, nothing happened. But it seems like when there's something that's, that's catered more or less to the black community or black players, everybody wants to reprimand it. And you have to ask yourself, why is that? Now, when it comes to the word nigga, I've, I've said in previous my videos that I think we definitely need to stop using that word. Some people, you know, most black people fall within three categories when it comes to this word. One, they say that we shouldn't use it and we need to get out of our vocabulary. Two, you have blacks out there that don't even, you know, don't care. They're they going to throw the around the word nigga whether you like it or not. Because of lack of history. Or, or three, you have those people who don't care. Either way it goes, they really don't care. So, all black people fall within one of those three categories. And, you know, I, I do think it's, it falls back on a lot of, you know, this new generation not knowing their history. Not understanding, you know, the, the, the pain and the history behind that word. And it's become more or less of a cool thing in a fashion to say, hey, what's up, my nigga? Or look at this nigga here. That, you know, that type of lingo. And hip-hop has made it cool for people outside the black community to use the word nigga. Along with the media feeding into it. So, you know, it's it's a really, you know, uh, I would say it's a deep issue here in America. Um, I don't think that the word nigga will ever go away. But I do think that it's something that the black community needs, needs to take charge of. And needs to get a hold of before it's too late. But when it comes to the football field, that is your job. Your job is to go on the football field, win games play as a team, and entertain the audience. That's how the NFL makes their money. So when you are at work, you should not be saying bitch this, MF this, nigga this, nigga that, nigger, insulting people about their sexuality, bullying people. None of that should go on. Because if you work at McDonald's, these same rules apply. If you use those type of, that type of language to a customer or anybody on the staff, guess what? You're out of there. So it should be the same rules imp imp applied into the NFL. 
And, you know, I find it funny how they went all the way into 2014 and say, hey, you know what? We're going to ban the word nigga. And we're going to we're gonna penalize people who use that word. And I think it, it, it goes back to part of, uh, you know, the NFL just wanted to control black players. I mean, you know, we see how they pick and choose who gets reprimanded, um, who faces certain consequence. You know, we can go back to uh, Michael Vick. We can go back to, um, you know, Richard Sherman when all he did was speak his mind and he got called a thug. He got called, uh, you know, a nigga. He got called all type of things and people basically in the media threw him under the bus. But when we have other white sports sports entertainers come out here and do things to need to demean someone black or just don't conduct themselves properly as a professional athlete. Nothing happens. They get suspended for two days, still get to come to practice, still getting paid. So the NFL and, and the media and the entertainment business picks and chooses who suffers and who does it. It's always been like that and a lot of it boils down to race. But I have no discrepancy with them um, banning the word nigga because it should not be used on the football field. You are at work. That that that's that's your career until you retire or you are no longer able to go out there and put your body on the line like that. But I think if we're going to talk about the word nigga and we're going to have uh, people get penalized for that word. Whether it's used in a, as a term of endearment or it's used to insult people. Well, we need to talk about those who are bullying people. Those who are talking about people's sexuality. Those who, those outside the black community that are insulting black players. We need to talk about the, the biased decisions that are going on within sports entertainment in general. Don't just talk about one thing and say, okay, well, we're going to... Uh, penalize you for saying saying that word or, or doing that, but when it comes to something else, oh, it's not a big deal. Oh, you know that person, they're, they're white. You know they they're good. They have good intentions, but when a Negro does something, you want to nail them to the cross. So you have to really read in between the lines with what they're actually trying to say with this whole uh, being penalized for saying this word. You know, I, I don't have it. I think that we all need to stop saying this word. But at the same time, don't pick and choose or make certain rules and, 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 and penalize people for things that cater strictly to the black athlete. But, you know, I'll leave a link in the description box. You guys want to check out the article. You guys can give me your feedback if you want. But, you know, I encourage everybody out there, you know, if you're black, stop using the word nigga. I don't want to hear... You know, uh, that bullshit excuse, oh, well, because I heard Stephen A. say this on uh, First Take this morning. Oh, well, I've been using it for 40 years, so it's hard to stop saying the word nigga. That's bullshit. You know, I, I'm going to be honest. What you do is you replace that word with something. It's not about taking it out of your vocabulary or taking it out of American history. Because I don't. it definitely will not be out of American history. But if you can... Stop saying nigga and replace that with something. You know, I, I always use brother. You know, brother is, is, is a word that's dear to me. It, it, it's a sign of respect. It's a sign of love. So if you can replace the word nigga with brother, I think we'll be all right. Or, or sister. And I'm not trying to preach another, but I'm trying to get everybody to understand that we really need to get that out of our vocabulary. We, we, we cannot continue to let... Um, you know, hip hop artists and people in the media and those out here that are cooning and buffooning to dictate what we do in our community and how we treat each other. We can no longer do that. But I'm out. Peace. Learn your history.